Cool. So with that, what has been your biggest challenge with living overseas in, in the 11 years? You know what? Most of my time has been in Japan. Okay. So I will go from there. And it's been realizing that you can't do everything alone. Mm -hmm. One thing I've seen is that when it comes to the Filipinos, the Chinese, and most cultures around the world, because the UK, the USA, Australia, we're very unique countries because everyone kind of lives there. Mm -hmm. Most countries are homogeneous and most countries don't speak English. So, but they all have a great community kind of connection with each other. So when they travel, they travel in packs. Mm. You know, when I first saw my Chinese friends come to my university, they was like 30 deep. I was like, yo, <laughs> so it's cool. <laughs> but I've, I've noticed that many like Americans and I guess maybe some Western people travel individually, maybe in small groups, but it's not as big. Because when I see the Filipinos, they're always in a group. Chinese, they're always in a group. Indians, you know, so. And one thing I've, I've, I've learned is that you need a team. You need to work with people and you cannot do everything alone. I've lived my life as a loner for so long and you can't do too much. There's a cap to doing things alone. And, we can, and when, you, when, you, when you can work with people, you understand that, yeah, you might have to compromise some things, but at the same time, you don't want to be a pushover. Mm -hmm. You want to be respected, but you also want to know that you won't get everything you want, but you can get most things. And... If you can do that and work with people and learn to understand people first, it makes them want to trust you and understand you as well because you took time to know about them. And that's it. Yeah. So the, the patience in building your network and your patience with meeting people mm -hmm. has helped you to get farther. 100%. It's, it's that patience and it's also patience that people need time to change, as we do. Mm -hmm. So if someone is not who they should be, but they're trying... Take that. That, that. That's life. If they're making a mistake, because we've all made mistakes, but people have given us chances. That's why we're here. And if there's someone that admires you and they're trying to get better, but they're trying to be better in your eyes, that's something kind of powerful. Mm -hmm. Because when someone looks up to you in that way, as I have in the past, it's great when they actually understand that you're trying and they, they, they just don't cut you off. And... One thing I've noticed is that when someone does that to me, when someone's looking up to me, I have to be patient because someone was patient with, with me at one point. If they're trying, you got to give them that. And it's only when they make a mistake and they, they just don't care. Mm -hmm. When they don't care, then that's a cutoff. But when they're trying and you can see that they're trying to improve, give them a chance, you know, and that's it. Okay. Okay. 